what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today i wanted to get on here and talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on you know in call of duty the war zone specifically i wanted to talk about the haunting event that's currently going on it's halloween today when you guys are watching this so you know obviously if you can jump on the event have some fun with that but if not i hope you guys are out there having some fun trick or treat you know my feet all that wonderful good stuff give me some candy or else you know that's how i get down I i'm from a different place so you know you better give me some candy or or I'm throwing eggs at you. But that's not what we're here to talk about. I wanted to jump on here and give my two cents on the event as a whole. The haunting event that's going on right now in Call of Duty. But before we jump into any of that, do me the favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and definitely hit the bell for notifications. In the background, I have some zombie warzone gameplay, so do enjoy that as we discuss the topic of discussion today. That all being said, let, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so at this point, everyone who plays Warzone knows about the haunting event that's currently going on. The event actually did come with the addition of a variety of different night battle royale modes and the zombie mode. It was only basically those two, but they did mix and match it, you know, with quads, duos, and solos. So they did give a bit of a variety there, but it basically came down to the battle royale at night and or the zombies mode. Additionally, they did add 16 in-game items that were required to complete the event and gain access to the special growl blueprint specifically designed for the Halloween event. I will say this, they went all out for this event. The map was the same overall, but they did add a few changes that truly brought this event to life. Obviously the event was at night. So the war zone, it was dark, it was night. And I will tell you right now, war zone at night is not the same as war zone during the day. Not by a long shot. I couldn't see anything. Not only was the visibility minimum, but your automatic more anxious because it's nighttime and humans are like that at night so it actually did take me a little bit of time to adjust and really get used to playing at night and I really enjoyed that not only was it at night but the devs went ahead and added random jump scares when you open the loot boxes throughout the war zone you know obviously eventually you're going to get used to it but listen the first time that happened I flinched so hard I basically almost almost got to the point of leaving my chair and getting up into a fighting stance and, and you know ready to go to work and put somebody out because that shit scared the shit out of me i'm gonna be completely honest with you it did it scared me the first time i jumped i'll say it i'm not i'm not too ashamed to say it i did jump moving on they also added ghosts throughout the map at different locations if you go to the quarry you may even get to see the ghost train on the tracks or at the stadium if you stand in one of the goals you'll see like like arms coming out of the, the ground trying to grab at you and whatnot it was really really cool you know add some scary music in there and that stuff actually does put you in a certain type of mindset you know one of those heightened senses of surroundings and you know fight or flight you know we actually start entering those modes and, and that's a good thing because i think that that's obviously the goal to be scary but to also be fun and i think the devs actually did a very very good job on these aspects that they actually brought to the war zone so let's focus a little bit more on these items listen these items that were required to complete the event were hidden in the loot boxes they're scattered throughout the entire map and to find them you definitely have to do some searching this was awesome it actually got me to go to places where i rarely go if you haven't searched the dam 40,000 times looking for that loot box that's going to give you the awesome watch you aren't doing it right you haven't been playing long enough and more than likely you're probably an idiot because it didn't take 40,000 times it only took a few but it was a grueling few side note i'll tell you guys Ant and I actually got on the sticks at approximately like 3.30 in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time because I live in this part of the world. We decided that we'd do some trick-or-treating in the war zone, you know, to collect some of these items, you know, enjoy the fruits of the event and have some fun, you know, and talk and gossip and have a good time, as, as, you know, as we play in the mode. Obviously, we wanted to get all the goodies associated with the event. Listen, we ended up playing the game for six hours completing the event. You know, we had maybe like eight or nine items to get before we actually completed it. But the thing is, we ended up completing the event in the end. But the point of it was the journey was so much fun. It actually kept us. We continued to play 
way to find these items. The rewards along the way was dope. And obviously at the end, you know, unlocking that blueprint was also awesome as well. Overall, it was good, but Jesus, man, me and Ant was grinding. You guys should have been there. It was awesome. Maybe I should have streamed it. I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to streaming. I haven't decided on that yet, but I'm rambling. So let's go ahead and get back to business. I say all of that to point out that if nothing else, the haunting event was successful and fun to play throughout overall. The devs got one right and I hope that they do something like this, you know, moving forward in the future on different holidays. That would be so cool if we had one for Christmas. That's all I'm saying. You know, with well, like presents and Santa Claus. Tell me it wouldn't be awesome if Santa wasn't the juggernaut and running around delivering some holiday cheer in the form of a rocket launcher or a mini launcher or, or, or a mini gun killing all the opponents, you know. Ho, ho, ho. Boom, boom, boom. You sleep. You know, gulag. Ha, 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 ha. You're going to the North Pole to make me some, some toys. Yeah. That wouldn't be fun. That would be so fun. But nevertheless, I do hope that they actually do something similar in the future. I think that that would be really cool. When it comes to this event, I wanted to take the time to speak on it a little bit because this was awesome. And I truly do hope that, you know, they continue to do stuff like this. And I hope that everybody who actually had the chance to actually enjoy playing it. And if you haven't, definitely, you gotta jump on here and check this thing out. At first, it can be quite intimidating because of the whole new game mode, but just give it a chance and I'm certain you're gonna like it. You're gonna have some fun. Also, I got a win in zombies, so I'm saying I'm a boss just wanted to put that out there because i got a win and i'm pretty sure ant didn't and i'm sure he's gonna watch this so ha 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 and i got a win and you did nevertheless though that's about it for me when it comes to this i just wanted to give my two cents in regard to the event overall let me hear it down below did you enjoy the event did you complete the event how many times did you get wrecked at the superstore while looking for the damn loot box that contained the item that you needed let me hear it down below thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video please do me that favor like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications i appreciate you all and i truly do hope that you and your family have a happy halloween i will definitely 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 see you guys on the next one